Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. In this video, we're going to look at the difference between two different methods for collecting a sample, the cluster method and the stratified method. Now, the difference between the cluster method for collecting a sample and the stratified method is really subtle. Let's look at the differences now. In both cases, we divide the population into groups. In one case, we call them clusters, and in the other, we call them strata. Typically, the clusters are more geographic um, divisions, whereas the strata are more based upon attributes, but it doesn't have to be that way. In a cluster sample, the data is gathered from a few of those groups. So we've divided the population into multiple groups. In a cluster, we only choose data from a few of the groups. Whereas in a stratified uh, sample, da data is collected from every group, every one of those strata. In the cluster sample, data is gathered from every member within a few of the groups. So we've divided the population into a few uh, into groups. We choose a few of those groups and look at every member in those groups. Whereas in the stratified, we go to every single group and just choose a few members from every group. To help me in my head keep it straight, which is which, I kind of picture a mountain and a peanut cluster, you know, a, a chocolate that has, um, well, pecans, actually, a pecan cluster in it. I know my artwork's not great, but play along with me. So here we have a mountain, and in it there are different layers of dirt, or strata of dirt. And the way I picture it is that some um, drill comes along and collects from the top all the way down, collects a portion, a sample of that data from every single one of those strata. So we're gonna get a little bit of dirt from every single one of those groups. Whereas in the pecan cluster, I'm gonna eat some of my pecan cluster. And so I'm only choosing a few of the groups, but when I choose a few of the groups, I'm gonna look at the entire group. So I'm gonna eat that whole pecan, so the whole thing goes. So here, we look at every group and choose a little from every group. In this case, I choose a few groups and take the whole group. So that's the difference between our stratified sample and our cluster sample. There's more differences than that. Statistically, we would prefer to have a stratified sample than a cluster sample. We, we looked at some of those differences in a previous um, video where stratified does a better job of getting a representative portion of the population. Whereas cluster, because light tends to like, it's not always representative of the entire population. We have a tendency to leave out parts of the population. That's the difference between a cluster and a stratified sample. Math made simple at Simpson Math. Thanks for watching.